Hey everyone, I don't know if you remember this dress, but I actually upcycled it. It was from the Salvation Army and I used it to wear to my friend's birthday in this Get Ready With Me video. And here is a clip of how the dress was before in shape and how it is after. And so this is how the dress looks like. Um, it's just this very pretty crushed velveteen dress by Avon from the 90s. And the first step that I did was I actually ripped the seams in the bottom here just because I will be cutting it off and shortening it later on. And so using a seam ripper, I then like gingerly remove those bottom seams. But here we have the side seams, or the side stitching, and here I am showing you how I'm fitting this dress. So I just wear it, and with pins, I would recommend using safety pins for this just because um, you don't want that needle point poking you, but you don't want to fit the dress to you to tailor it to your size. So here's a close-up of me pinning the sides together. And you just pin the two cloths together like so. And you want to do this on both ends to make sure that you have symmetry as you tailor the dress to your shape. And here it looks like from far away. As you can see, it's beginning to get shape. And remove the dress and you're going to go and use chalk to connect the pins together. So then you can get an idea of how you want to sew the ends together. Do the same for the other side. Again, getting a gist. Use the chalk to connect the pins together like connecting the dots. Using the straight stitch on your sewing machine, you are then going to follow that white chalk line. And here we are just following the line and going all the way to the end. And when you reach the end, make sure to secure the stitch by either sewing in place for a while or going back and forth. Repeat the process for the other side. together and now that I'm happy with the way that the stitching is and how it fits I then take my pair of scissors and I just cut off that excess fabric I don't have to worry about fabric falling apart just because I secured the two ends using the zigzag stitch and repeat the same process for the other side Make sure to not cut too close to the zigzag stitch. You want to have some, some space in between just because you don't want to go and ruin the stitch you just made with your sewing machine. And so this is how it looks like, how it fits much better than um, before. It's a little bit more fitted now. And I am not happy with the length, so Making it a party dress, I shorten it. 
And using my pins again, I recommend using safety pins for at least this fitting part. And to replace it with um, the tailoring pins, I then, I pin the dress to my desired length. This is how it looks like up close. And see, I've done the same thing for both ends. And with my sewing machine using a top stitch, I sew those ends together as closely as possible to the edge just because I'm actually going to go and sew it over one more time. So you notice that I have close a lot of excess fabric from the edge so I cut that off making sure that I don't cut over the stitch that I just sewn. Well this is how I show you how it looks like it's not very neat but I'm gonna fold it over and hide those uh, raw edges. So I fold it over and then I eventually pin them together like so. And using the straight stitch again, I cover those raw edges and actually try to sew as closely as possible to the line that I've sewn before. And this is the finished product. It's just a simple, simple fitted black dress. And I just love, I love the velveteen um, texture. to is by Starlet Everglades. It's my 90s velveteen dress that I got from the Salvation Army. So if you want more info, check out my blog. And most of all, thank you for watching. <laughs>